Today, we are going to be discussing Psalm chapter 4. The main idea of this psalm is really a, a plea for people to seek true joy. In this psalm, we see David encouraging and instructing people to seek true joy. Now, the psalm begins in verse 1 with a prayer, and then in verses 2 all the way down to... Uh, Verse uh, uh, verse 6, we see instruction. David is instructing people. And then in verses 7 and 8, uh, David returns again to prayer. Now let's notice the first uh, thing about prayer is that David prays to God. He says, answer me. He says, be gracious to me. But in the middle of these two lines, he states a fact a past tense reality that God has given relief to David. This should be the nature of our prayers, that we call out to God to answer us and to be reminded, God, you have answered us, so continue to answer my prayers. So what we see in the prayer is a, a, a plea for God to answer him and then a statement that, God, you have answered me in the past, so answer me again. So this is how his his prayer begins. And then in verses 2 through 6, David in, offers instruction to men. Now, when we look at these, these men, they're not wise. They're, they're not even the righteous. Rather, they are people who desperately need instruction. Um, and not only are they people who need instruction, but it seems that they are his enemies. Notice, oh men, how long shall my honor be turned into shame. These men are people who are speaking vain words and lies about David. These, these people think that God isn't for David, like we learned in Psalm 3. These are the people who are saying of David in Psalm 3 that there is no salvation for him in God. These are the people who are rising up against his soul, um, who are his foes. So in chapter 4, David instructs these people and what he instructs them is how to walk in righteousness. Now, notice that these people say, uh, there are many who say, who will show us some good? And then they say, lift up the light of your face upon us, O Lord. So notice, these people are praying to God because they just want, they just want good. They want more grain and they want more wine. These people are not righteous. They are fools. And they're seeking to use God to get more things. But notice what David says. He says to God, You have put more joy in my heart than they have, who, namely these men, when their grain and wine abound. In peace I will both lie down and sleep, for you alone, O Lord, make me dwell in safety. And notice again in, in chapter 3 that this was a major theme here, is that the Lord was the glory and lifter of David's head, that when David cried aloud, the Lord answered him. And when he laid down, he slept. Why? Because the Lord sustained me. So what we're seeing in chapter 4 really has lots of parallels to chapter 3. And, and what we're seeing here is that in this psalm, David instructs these enemies and he's instructing them to seek true joy to be wise and to be obedient seek god not just grain and wine so here's a few questions we could we could talk about first of all when your enemies speak lies about you in vain words do you first pray for them and second do you instruct them? That's a huge challenge for us to, to interact with our enemies in such a way that we're instructing them for their joy. So have you ever done this? And if so, maybe somebody can recount an experience they had. Second, you guys could talk about, has, have any of you experienced, um, and of course we have, or may, maybe we should just have them explain an instance when they've experienced the joy of the Lord. And when in their lives have they realized that the joy of the Lord is more precious than even a lot of food, a lot of comfort, a lot of money? And finally, we could have our, our, our small groups discuss um, when they've experienced the safety of the Lord. And remember, 
This is amid trouble. These are people who are trying to hurt David. They're speaking vain words and lies against him. And yet David is safe. So our small groups can discuss sometimes that they have experienced the safety of the Lord. Ultimately, the psalm is an instruction to seek true joy. Um, so as in, in your small groups, as you discuss this psalm, let the goal be uh, the people having greater joy in the Lord. Have fun discussing Psalm 4.